I read once that you said that in the morning after reading uh, a sacred scripture, it's generally your habit to read something that he has written. Uh, could you comment on that? Uh, it is uh, and has been for perhaps about 20 years uh, that in my own uh, daily regimen, uh, my day begins with uh, uh, returning to a passage of sacred scripture, and after which I follow that with uh, a few pages, not many, one or two pages uh, written by Frithof Schuon. Uh, I have settled on that regimen uh, because it provides the complement uh, that I feel feeds my soul uh, more than any alternative. Uh, the scriptures uh, reveal writings uh, should occupy pride of place. And though we continue to dialogue with them as we try to understand deeper and deeper dimensions of their meaning. Nevertheless, uh, nothing else quite stands in their camp. But then there is the issue of their uh, meaning for our time, their explication. And on that front, uh, no one in my world uh, rivals uh, Mr. Shuan. So this gives uh, a, an oscillation, maybe a kind of antiphony uh, between uh, the great directly revealed text and then for me the most helpful commentary uh, on those texts uh, of any voice in the contemporary world. If uh, thinking back over what I've said, there's anything that I uh, feel that I would like to add, uh, it would be only uh, to express my uh, overwhelming sense of gratitude uh, to Mr. Shuan, uh, his work and his life. Uh, I don't like to think of uh, what my life uh, and c career uh, would have been like without his input.